So Jim, how do we tell if we have enough Fernox F1 protector in a system? Well, every can of Fernox F1 protector protects up to 26 gallons of system volume. But to be sure that we have the right amount of inhibitor in there, we utilize titration drops from Fernox Industries. Now, I have an example here which has fill water on the right-hand side and boiler water on the left-hand side. And we'll start the magic show with these titration drops. So the first thing I do is establish a baseline. And a baseline is going to turn the water a orange color if there's any, uh, or if there's no signs of inhibitor. So let's drop this with one titration drop. And what we should see is an orangish color like this right here. So now I have my system water, which you put in some of our F1 protector in. And once I put in a single titration drop, I should actually have a reaction. And in this case, Ooh. it turned it the same color as the actual can of the inhibitor. Now, in order to be properly protected, I have to have nine of these titration drops in here, and it has to remain blue. If I only were able to put six drops in, and it turns orange, I'm actually 30% light on my inhibitor. So let's see where we go. Here's the second drop. Here's the third and fourth drop. Still blue. Fifth, sixth, seventh. Uh-oh, looks like I'm about 30% shy. You need more protector. We need some more F1 protector.